Do you know my name? Do you know my name? Mr. Holmes, sir. Mr. Holmes, sir. Well, you're nearly right. If it was to the police or to the Hedy or whatever, that right, would be Mr. Holmes. But not you guys. You guys can call me Malky. Okay? We Malky. Right? Because we're all equal. Right? I'm not going to patronise you and teach you like Wayne's. Okay? You're a kick in the ass. I've been adult, so I'm going to treat you adult. Okay, dokie. And what I'm going to teach you to play next is a game called baseball. All the way from the United States of America. Baseball. So called because in order to get out of the base, which is this here, you've got to hit the ball. Baseball. Now we've got two horns. The left horn is the one that does most of the work. The hard work, right? The right horn steadies the bat and whoosh guides the ball. Okay? Go to that. Right? Right, throw the ball. Boy! Hoo -hoo! Hey! Get Neil Armstrong to the back of that moon! That was very good. From my point of view, that was very good. It's a very good throw. But from your point of view, that was a very bad throw. That was rubbish. Shit. Cack. Keek. Why was that a rubbish throw? Anybody? Why was that such a shit throw? Come on. It's no rocket science. Okay, it was a bad throw because it was easy for me to whack it, you know? And you don't want that, you don't want me to whack it, right? You want to put a bit of pace into the ball, a bit of movement, you know? Whoa, whoa, what happened there? What was that? What was that? It was a ball, you know? It's called the curve ball. That's what they call it stateside. Curve ball. Okay? So let's do it again. And remember, you don't want to hit this. That's not what you want to hit. You don't want to hit this. You want to hit him. You right? You want to hit this guy here. Right through. Whoosh! Because if I miss this ball three times, I'm out. Three strikes, then you're out. Just like real life. Okay? Watch yourself. Do your worst, go on. Okay, look at the ball. What? Look at the ball. Has anybody got the ball? Has anybody got the ball? Has anybody got the ball? Right, guys. All you guys there, right? You are the fielding team, right? And the fielding team's supposed to get the bloody ball, right? We'll get the bloody ball! No, 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 hold on, hold, hold on, time it! <whistles> okay, right. <whistles> right, it doesn't take all of these to get the ball at the same time. One person can get the ball, okay? And the nearest person to that ball gets that ball. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What the bloody hell are you doing? You still haven't got the ball. The person who's furthest away from me is the person nearest the ball. So calm down, look about you, all right? So who is the furthest person from me? Right, you, well get the bloody ball then. Come on, son! We've not got off 
Bloody day. Now put a bit of life into it. He can't run, he's got asthma. What? He's got asthma, he can't run. What's he doing, Plain? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so while we're waiting on uh, the ball coming back to us, can you tell me if you've got any illness or a physical condition that I should know about? Malky, she's scared of asps. No, 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 that's not a physical condition. That's called a phobia. Well, if she gets stung, she'll swell up. Like, if she got stung in the neck, her throat would close in and she'd die. Is that right? Right, that's fine. Okay, so in the future, I will make sure I've got antihistamine in the first aid kit, okay? Antihistamine is the best thing for that. Much better than the old remedy they had, which was Uncle Histamine. <whistles> gather run, gather run, come on. When you hear your illness read out, put your hand up, okay? All right, uh, Uh, diabetic. Good. Okay. Epilepsy. All right, buddy. Uh, who's the other asthmatic? Okay. Glass eye. Ah, that's good. Looks good one. Uh, hole in the heart. Okay. And you've had the operation. Aye. And your mommy's happy that you're here. Aye. Good, good, good. Okay. Right, what have you got? I've got Verukas, sir. Verukas, sir? Oh, Verukas. Verukas, mate. What's a Verukas, sir? <laughs> right. Yourself? Have you? I'm a bit young here. <laughs> How do you spell that, you know? <laughs> I get it. What about you boys? You must have something wrong with you. No? Well, you two better keep eating your porridge, because it looks as if the future of the human race is going to depend on you. Right, okay. Who's got that bar? Who oh, the fuck? Who did that? Honestly, he smashed his head in, man. It's fucking huge, you know. Kick me, it's fucking. Not fucking clue of you, man. I'm telling you. You seen all these fucking cunts stone and tooled up? What would you have done if I got done in, eh? What would you have done in if I got to fucking jail? Stupid wee fucking prick, man. You think you're a hard man? I tell you right now, you're a fucking scary cunt for all the wrong reasons. Now, what? Get yourself to fuck. Move. Fucking move. Excuse me. Course in session, pal. You can again. I need to find out how my brother's doing. You need to go in the corner and ask the desk sergeant. What corner? Out the doors, left, then left again. How long are you staying for? Not long, you man. By the way, again tomorrow. Where are you going? Fuck off down to London. Then I'm going to Spain. Spain? 
Yeah, it's been. Because I need to get away from everything that's going on. Do I need you to do as a favour or not? What? See my special bill. Why? You're going to need to go and sign the papers tomorrow morning. You need to be there at half past eight. I've got school in the morning. Well, you can do this before school. Bulls have saw your face. I know that. Look, see if you burn my clothes, there's a good chance they'll even look at your face. John, it's a chance you've got to take. Yeah? I'll do it. Are you sure about this now, eh? You wanna go let me down? No. Sorted. Benny. What is it? You coming back? Like you, man, I'm going to sleep in the night. Benjamin McGill. Address? 23 Gillick Street. Date of birth? 23rd of the 8th, 1957. 23rd? Aye. It says here 21st. This one says 23rd. But why does this one say 21st? Hey, you sign here. Take your friend into the garden, Julian. Well, now it's, uh, it's our favourite part of the night, it's a, a wee sing-along song. 
Let it shone. Feel free to join in. We've got the whole world in our hands. We've got the whole wide world in our hands. We've got the whole world in our hands. We've got the whole world in our hands. We've even got chains in our hands. We've got chains in our hands. We've got chains in our hands. We've got the whole world in our hands. We've got Maria. Maria. In our hands, we've got Maria. In our hands, we've got Maria. In our hands, we've got the whole world in our hands. We've got Jimmy. Jimmy. In our hands, we've got Jimmy. In our hands, we've got Jimmy. In our hands, we've got Jimmy. In our hands, we've got. Your name, my friend? John. John? John. Brilliant, John. We've got John. In our hands, we've got John. In our hands, we've got John. In our hands, we've got the whole world in our hands. We've got Karen. In our hands, we've got Karen. In our hands, we've got Karen. In our hands, we've got the whole world in our hands. We've got Kathy. In our hands, we've got Kathy. In our hands we've got Kathy. In our hands we've got the whole world in our hands. We've got John. In our hands we've got John. In our hands we've got John. In our hands we've got the whole world in our hands. We've got George. In our hands we've got George. In our hands we've got George. In our hands we've got the whole world in our hands.